All right, looks like we're going to work a little today, boys. Let's go find them. Yep. Yep. Uh. All right, this will be fun. There's like 50 guys out here, so we're going to go somewhere where we can get away from the crowd. Wow, this water's crystal clear. I don't see any trout yet, but I've got a feeling this spot could definitely produce. All right, nice and easy. Oh, that's thorny. We want to avoid that for the sake of the waders. Oh, all right. Ah, oh, get out of here, baby. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that water feels quite nice maybe a little on the chilly side first cast all right we're in at the window right here not gonna lie guys my fish senses are definitely tingling if there's even a single trout here they will see my spinner from a mile away oh my gosh I'm staring up a huge cloud of dust I better cast over here first before those trout get all confused. Oh, oh, I got smashed. Holy bejizo. Oh no, I can't let this dust cloud reach that trout. Come on, come back. Sometimes they come back for it. All right, we gotta get back in there, guys. This cloud of dust is going downstream. And when it hits those trout, I think they're just gonna shut off. There's at least one over here. Oh no, we gotta get over here. Oh, he just jumped. 360 no I'm right on top of him. I'm right on top of him. Come on, spinner. Oh, was that a bite or a rock? Oh, that was a fish. He came for it. We no scoped him. This is my first ever trout on the new Guggen inline spinner, baby. We're gonna have to call this a chopper. Beautiful rainbow trout. Look at those colors. All right. We're gonna, we gotta land him. Look at this, guys. You can see everything in this water. Absolutely gorgeous fish. And wet the hands. We're gonna. Ah, now we take control of the fish. Oh, yes. Yes, my friends. Oh, my gosh. That is how you wanna hook. Right in the top of the lip. Nailed it. Pretty little fish. Good number one. We shall take it. A little yellow on there. Off she goes. Well guys, you probably heard this video uh, started off with a bang. I'm going to get into the details soon, but first, we got to try to catch some fish on the new Guggen. I'm just going to call it the Chopper because I like the name. The Guggen Squad Chopper, baby. Let's get back in there. Let's see if we can make it a two in a row. They could definitely be schooling. Got a little chop in the water. No one's over here. We might have just found the juice. Oh, I got bit again. There's another one. Oh, he smacked me, dude. I bet you guys I can get bit again. All right. Give it a quick twitch. Start the blade turning. Slow and steady retrieve. Give it a pop once in a while. The pop got him. The pop got him, guys. Oh, this one's even bigger. This one's even bigger. Bigger. Then you got, oh, look at the acrobatics. Absolutely beautiful fish. Woo! This one actually looks a little different colored. I'm not a trout expert by any means. I just like catching fish. But I'm pretty sure this is also a rainbow. Get the hands nice and wet. Got to protect the delicate slime coating on these fish. And boom, goes the dynamite. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, nope, yep, yep. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Uh, Guggen Chopper is equipped with super sharp hooks. This guy uh, swiped at it and unfortunately got a little eyelid piercing right here. I apologize, my little friend. Oh, well, that came out pretty easy. I'm sure you'll be perfectly fine. Have at least one good eye. Off she goes. All right, we're into a school, guys. When there's a school, Guggen will take... All these fish to session right here. 
We're gonna do the exact same thing. Cast the same spot, pop it once in a while, and boop! Oh my, I, I kid you not, guys. This, uh, uh, they're stacked over here. There's nothing else to say. Change the pace. Oh, I just got bit. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire. I've never caught this. I, we've literally been fishing for like five minutes, guys. I've never caught this many fish this quickly in my life. Holy bejizo. Woo! Guys, if you're trout fishing, this is our first truly trout lure that we've made. And I think we've hit a home run out of the park. Woo! That guy would agree. Boop! Gotcha, baby. Bam! Swallowed it. That is beautiful. When I let you go, my friend. Perfect hook set. There we go. Quick release. She's ready. She's ready to go. And off she goes. All right. No more bites. We worked this area pretty good. Let's keep exploring. Here's what we're gonna do now, guys. Before we change locations, I'm gonna attach the underwater GoPro. And I just wanna sneak up on where that school of trout was hanging out right over there. See if there's anything that's gonna give me a hint for the rest of today. So we're gonna go ahead and equip this on, just like this. Go ahead and start her up. And here we go. There's gotta be something that was making those trout wanna hang out over here, because I literally got six bites in this area right here. Did not get a single bite over in that region over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, if we're gonna go underwater right now, take a look. I just see, I see shallow, clear water, some rock, a little bit of rockiness. I mean, this right here, that could have provided a little ambush spot, perhaps. Uh, it does get a little bit deeper over here. I don't see any trout per se. Oh, actually, it gets significantly deeper over here. Okay, so this is the area I was casting to, and it's actually, I don't, I can't even walk over here. It's probably about getting up to four feet deep. So we'll just scan around, take a look at the footage. Oh, that's a freaking golden trout right there. You're kidding me. You guys are kidding. You guys see that trout? I probably got bit by that trout. He's coming at me. He's coming at me. Dude, that is exactly where these trout were hanging out right here. All right, we're going to have to catch that trout. We have to catch this golden trout. I have never caught a gold. There's actually there's a whole school of trout. There's a whole freaking school over there. I can see him. All right. I Hopefully, you guys can get a view of it. I'm not going to get any closer. I'm going to stay on. I'm actually going to stay in the school now. My mission is going to be to catch that golden trout. Slowly back away. And now we've got a re-rig. All I can say is good thing we went over there before we switch locations. This can get real interesting. Alright. Well, upon reveal of the underwater footage, we will not be leaving this spot. There is in fact a whole underwater school of trout, and not just one golden trout, but two. I've never caught one. We've got a Google Spinner, and I, there's actually another bait that I might have to whip out. A subscriber handed it to me on the way down here. Let's try the spinner again and uh, see if we can get right in front of that fish's face. All right, sneak up nice and quiet on these fish. I can see them. I have a visual. I actually have a visual. They're all facing upstream. I was actually casting at a not great angle. I'm going to bring it right by him. Give it a little pop here. Get, I mean, some. Oh, he's on it. Dude, he's following. He's following. He's following. Oh, he looked at it. The, one of the golden actually came by and looked at it. All right, we're going to. All we got to do is just cast upstream like this. And if we reel it at this angle, we're going to be going right in front of that whole freaking school. Sooner or later, one of those golden is going to get hungry. Yeah. No bites. They've seen it too many times. So here's what we're gonna do. When I was at HQ, I actually took two prototypes. There were six total. Unfortunately, one member lost three of them. So I was promised two, so I took my two. They still have one left there. And uh, we're gonna whip it out. We've been catching them on the black with the Guggen Green feather. But now, let's go ahead and try the straight chartreuse right here. Very bright, very flashy gold blade. Sometimes giving them a different look is all it takes. 
All right. I have a visual. Cast number one. Chartreuse spinner. We're in line. We're in line with school. Give it a pop. Pause. No. Oh, oh, one's, one's looking at it. Give it a pop. They're both looking at it. Oh, I got I got the golden. I got the freaking golden. All it took was a color change. Holy bejizo. We can't lose this fish, guys. Oh, wait. No. No. No, 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 no. I am very sad to say this is not a true catch, my friends. This is not a true catch. I am sorry, my friend. I did not want to be my first time like this. That is not cool. Are you kidding me, dude? My first ever golden, and I freaking catch it on its freaking side, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Well, let's go ahead and, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, no, oh no, oh no. Okay, let's just get her unhooked as quick as possible. Minimize the damage. Gosh, you're so beautiful. You're so pretty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. There you guys go. I don't get that. Okay, okay, there she goes. She went, okay. I, let's see where she goes, actually. She's going that way, that left, right? So now she's taking position over there. Actually, she's actually stopped over there. So I don't think the other, I mean, come on, dude. There's literally, tw there's probably 12 fish in the school and I accidentally snagged one of the two goldens. That is quite unlucky, but let's get back in there. Let's do it right this time. I'm gonna do a little zigzag pattern. Move the rod tip, make the bait. Going side to side motion right here. No cigar. All right, bad news boys. The other golden, which I snagged, has rejoined the squad. So they, it may or may not have alerted its friends of uh, this chartreuse. Oh, I guess it didn't warn that one. Oh, he got off. Dang it, dude. He didn't warn that one. But I might have to switch baits just because these fish have definitely seen this bait in front of their face at least 25 times from the almost same angle. I'm trying to mix it up here a little bit. We're gonna have to pull up my sub secret weapon. It's actually a uh, pretty common bait that people like to use in my, my area for trout. We have the pink power worm. The only issue is I don't know if I have a jig head to match it. I was expecting to only fish the uh, spinner, so we do not have any jig heads right here. Oh, wait a second. Hold your horses there, boys. What I just found. 1 16th ounce with a blade. I can see the pink worm, that's really cool. You know what I'm gonna actually do? I'm gonna use my visual advantage. I'm gonna get on high ground right here. All right, let's do this for real, guys. Yeah, I got a perfect visual. Oh my gosh. I can see everything. That's right on them. Dropped it right on them. Now let's see how they react. One's looking at it. They're looking at it. Oh, I think I had a bite here. Ooh, they're on it, they're on it. I think they're fighting. Oh, I got them, they were fighting for it. That little guy took it from the golden. The golden was about to take it. First cast with the pink. I actually, what I want to do, I want to get this fish out ASAP so I can get back in there while they're still excited. What the hands? Oh yeah, we'll take you guys. Nice, nice hook set. Let's release this guy over there. Go downstream, go away. Back in business, all right, still got a visual on the goldens. Let's do it again. Oh shoot. New pitch. Right, I'm gonna go for the golden on the left. Yeah, we're on him. We're on him. He's like, he's coming to it. He's coming to it. Oh, he turned. Oh my freaking gosh, and different trout took it. Dang it, dude. Come on, golden. He's looking at it. Oh, I put the, put a frick, what, what? My line broke. I didn't retie. Those trout have little teeth. You're freaking kidding me, dude. It broke my line. Oh my gosh, that was my only Guggen jig head. I'm freaking stupid. Ah, oh, the rainbow. I actually saw that fish come up. I was kind of dead sticking the bait. That fish came out, came over, nosed his face in the ground, and just slurped it up. Mm. These fish are getting hungry. It's getting late. My hand's getting freaking cold. Believe it or not, guys, I actually jumped into the water. Oh, there goes my bait. I actually jumped into the water for one of these fish. Let me show you the clip. Boop. Save my worm. Hold on, save my worm first. 
So a little back story, I was fishing with my family and I saw a bite on the rod. I wasn't even filming by the way. I saw a bite on the rod. I said, mom, go grab the rod. She was a split second too late and the rod went into the water. So that was the context. Now let me show you what I did. You guys, my rod just got went in the water. Whoa. We got the fish! We got the fish! We still got it! A Google Gold series, boys. We got one. Oh, Mom, I thought I told you to grab the rod. You grabbed it too slow. Ah! ah. ah. I tried down and I wanted it. No gear left behind, boys. I tried down and I Stay tuned for more. So, yeah, I'm cold right now, just dipping my hand. Like, you can see my hand is red. And this was just two or three days ago that I jumped in the water. You can imagine that was very very cold but we still have our mission at hand let's continue fingers crossed only one of those trout are probably catchable the other one you know is probably a little spooked but we're gonna keep trying for it 